currently having existential thoughts. I've been having a hard time lately. It feels hard to even exist. Um, you kind of just realize life is not this. This is not it. I mean, it's a version of life, so you don't fit into this template anymore, and it's really lonely out here, you know? And I'm just like, like, what are people doing? Like, why are we doing this? Like, why do we exist? Like, nothing really makes sense anymore. This journey that I am on is so inward. I couldn't even explain it to someone if they asked, unless they've been through it themselves, and that's, I think, what makes it so lonely. Anyway, I'm just venting because, like, these past few days for me have been so hard. It's felt hard to, like, exist. Literally exist. That is it. I have been crying. I I've gotten out of bed and I felt exhausted. I have taken a shower and like had to sit down on the floor because I was so tired. Questioning my entire human existence on this planet. What the f is going on? That's usually why they come to see us. Life is crazy. I'm like a therapist now. It's fun and I like it. It's terrifying. Like it's resonating on a deep level. It's fun. I have so much fun. Um, I was brought to tears on the trail. Hold on, let me flip this. Oh, I can't. Okay, so sorry. It feels so good to be here. I saw so many butterflies. It's so nice out. Oh my God, like, look at this. Oh my God, I feel so myself again. Uh, oh my god, um, I don't know. I'm having a moment. This is insanity. I am running out two hours of sleep. I know where I am. I don't need a GPS. I like literally picked the worst time to make a video. Just here in Eugene. Good morning. I just woke up. You are a human, you exist. And it's 73 degrees out. So, I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Oh my god, I still have the tag. I'm just really grateful to be here. Okay, bye. Holy shit. It's just hard, you know? Um, I also look very gay right now, like a lot. Wow, okay, bye. Things are getting uncomfortable. Humanity is evolving. Humanity as a species, we're raising our consciousness. My life at this point is so unknown. Let me tell you, literally nothing is the same. Nothing is the same. <sighs> I don't know what's gonna happen. I feel like I'm in a movie. We're taught to give away our power the second we're born here. What a ride! Are you waiting for me? Hey, baby. Hi. Oh, are you hungry? There are so many different ways to live life. You're hungry. Every single person here All right. has lived a different reality. There's just so much more to life than we even can comprehend. Currently in Mexico with Harpo. I'm here by myself, so I'm just having a moment. I will truly never know all that exists in the physical reality. I just recommend traveling to every single person if they ever get the opportunity and every opportunity you get you take it because it changes you psychotic break um their therapists will work on coping skills like if i didn't have this moment like i would never have this moment you know Most of all, the loss of the capacity to experience. I don't even know how to, like, be a human anymore. 
wow holy shit like i have no idea where my life is gonna take me i just don't know how to like be in the world right now this is a wild experience of being human on earth Hi, Mike. Sun is coming up. We're liking our coffee. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, so like the question is, what am like what am I doing? What am I doing here? Like, where am I? What am I doing? Literally, where am I? Like, I could do anything I wanted in this moment. You know what I mean? That's so weird. Like, what is any of this? Oh my god, and what have I been doing this whole time? Oh my god, I feel like I just like opened my eyes again after like a while. I feel like I'm coming out of a fever dream. <laughs> like, does any of this make- and like, how did I even get here? How am I sitting right here? What? <laughs> like, how do I even exist? I have no words to describe how hard it's been. And at the same time, it's been incredibly transformational. In ways I don't even know yet. I don't even know where this is taking me. All I can control is my state of being. That's what I am keep learning is I literally can't control anything but my state of being. So <laughs> I feel like I'm in a game in earth school. This established like system of systems is like a one way that humanity lives but like i no longer resonate with that way of being with that way of living i don't really think that i want to like spend my experience here in that form of existence but at the same time like that's all i've like kind of known so i'm just at like this crossroads where i'm like okay now what you know what i mean like now what so, I don't know, <laughs> is the point. Breadcrumbs. You're fixing dinner if it doesn't turn out. There's the Jewish guilt. <laughs> and a small bowl. I think you're getting to be a regular. I know. <laughs> I love it. Two lemons. It's yeah, a very refreshing. And then you kind of... Okay. Whoa! Hey! I'm just sitting here like reflecting on my entire journey at this school so far. I don't I just meeting everyone, who I was when we were in person versus who I am now. I just am thinking about who I'm going to be, you know, in a year, two years from now because if if I have changed that much in um the span of like two and a half years. <laughs> Like, it's just kind of exciting because, like, I don't even know what's coming. Look how beautiful it is here. Yeah, it's been it's been a very humbling couple months. I just started my last semester. I don't even know how to process that. I don't know, my journey is coming to a close here. And I have no idea where I'm going after this. I just met with a potential job offer that will probably end up happening most likely all i need to do is accept life is just so weird this job literally out of nowhere i got this opportunity how it happened was i was so in alignment with myself i embodied my beliefs and then the job came to me like i didn't seek it it feels so meant to be Good job! There's really no point to allow anything to shake that inner peace. I'm okay. I'm I'm literally okay. It's okay. I have no idea what is going on. 
I am on my way to go get a tattoo. This is the last time, literally in my lifetime, that this forearm will be plain. That's so weird to think about. So uh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? You know what I'm like really tired of, like have no space for it at this point, is anxiety. I don't care what's happening externally, I just like don't have time or space or energy. I just have decided that, you know? Because essentially, consciously or unconsciously, that's an inner state of being that will serve me in any capacity. My inner state of being, if it's in an anxious state, it doesn't serve me. It just doesn't even matter. It's just pointless to feel anxious and to feel like you have a sense of control when you don't have a control over anything but your inner state of being. Nope. I'm shifting the script. What are you doing? I'm making an egg salad sandwich. There's Ron. Thank you. Thank you. so beautiful <laughs> I'm currently in Sayulita, Mexico right now I've been here for about a month look who is right here look at this beautiful tree look at her she is so incredible. I do not want to leave this. It's hard to even speak right now because I, I no words capture this and I wish I could take this moment with me. And so I'm making a video because that's the only way I know how. It's all gonna be okay. I know, Megan, you're gonna be watching this at a time when you're probably yearning for this feeling that you feel right now. And I know it's gonna be really hard. I know it's gonna be hard, but you can take this. This is you. You know, this feeling is you, and it's in, it's still inside of you, even in this moment you're in right now. You still have this. And although you not, may not be physically here in this space, in this jungle, with this beautiful tree, you can tap into this feeling and you can take it with you, and you can hold it. You can be it. Know that the situation that you're in right now as you're watching this is temporary. It is temporary. I promise. Everything is temporary, and things that feel incredibly hard are teachers their lessons they're hard for a reason if nothing was hard you wouldn't learn you are learning something you are learning something and it's okay that it feels hard it's okay that you have emotions and feelings around it because that's what it, that's what it's about it's, it's teaching you and and the teaching is is in the feeling because we're supposed to feel everything and it's when we don't allow ourselves to feel that we get disconnected from ourselves and from everything around us and the whole point of this is to experience everything. And to experience is to feel. And to feel is to experience. It's the same thing. So hang in there. Remember who you are. It's easy to lose yourself out there. It's really easy. And I can imagine there's going to be more situations where you feel like you're losing yourself. And it's easy to lose yourself when you're changing. It's easy to lose yourself because, in fact, you do lose parts of yourself. But the parts that you lose, are, you're meant to let go of. Just pay attention to what you resonate with and what speaks to your soul because that is your language that's the language that you know but it's quiet it's gentle and you have to you have to hear it and you have to be intentional about hearing it you are your own compass 